the foot. If I am the hand, I can't do what the foot does. So God says we need each other to do the work of the ministry. And we need each and every minister. We need each and every ministry. We cannot be afraid of each other. That comes from Satan. We must become one. And we must become powerful again in the body of Christ. We must learn how to walk in the spirit again and stop walking in the flesh. We must learn how to put religion down and walk in the anointing of God. Because yes. walking in the anointing can destroy the yokes of bondage that yes. need to be destroyed in the world today. Amen. But the anointing will not work in flesh. That's Amen. right. That's right. So we need to become one. Yeah. And the Lord told me, he says, the work that I'm going to do is going to be done by ordinary people. It's not going to be by the big names that you think that it's going to be done. Mm -hmm. tell it, it's going tell to be it. done by the ones that I have had in hiding yes. over these years, yes. preparing yes. them, and they have the humility yes. to do the work that I have called them to do. Yes. Mm, my God. And this is what God is getting ready to do. Amen. 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 Uh, Minister uh, Jamie, I would like her to come and read the, the bio of Pastor Peter and for the speaker of the hour. And I would like first Pastor Peter to come and read the scripture that the Lord has given him for this hour and what God has laid on his heart. Amen. 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 Please stand for Pastor Peter from Zimbabwe. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's give praise to the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 I'm going to read from Isaiah 49. But you know, we are standing in a historical moment. God always. He has a plan for everything. I said this morning something came on the news. On the very day that we are gathered together here, at about 11 o'clock your time, you know you've been praying for Zimbabwe. You've been praying for many countries in Africa, but the particular people were crying for Zimbabwe. For the whole year. I said, Lord, on the 11th day of February, the very day we are gathering and worshiping and talking about Zimbabwe, and that's the very day our government resolved their conflict. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God. There's been a killing and fighting. But they came to into agreement this morning and signing the deal and to end the conflict, to save the people. Hallelujah. So it's a historical. I won't forget this thing. I will not say, Lord, Hallelujah. February, what a miracle. And definitely, as our pastor said in 2010, and we'll be here again in February and sharing. Then September, October, those who want to, to come and explore in Africa, come ready. Because we are there for you. But Isaiah 49, verse 15 and 16. And it's been a dream that God put in my heart and we've been sharing with many people. And I have had many pastors say, saying this word, it's a truly confirming message. Isaiah 49, verse 15. It says, Can a woman forget her nursing child and have no compassion on the son of her womb? Even this may forget, but I will not forget you. For you to understand this question, you need to understand verse 14, where the children of Israel say, But Zion said, The Lord has forsaken me, and the Lord has forgotten me. Probably you are walking in the same shadow. Today and from this day, your miracles on the way. 
Let me tell you, this, this is not just a gathering. I believe that this is your time and this is your moment. You, and the verse 16, the Lord said, Behold, I have inscribed you in the palm of my hand. You are in the hand of the Lord. Nothing else will fear no more. You better not doubt it won't forget you. So this is all about. We're going to describe and every preacher and every man and every woman here. They're going to cry out. For this grace of God, may the Lord bless you Amen. as we be continually sharing the word. Thank you. Amen. 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 After Minister uh, Griffin comes and reads the bio for Pastor Peter and uh, Minister Montana, uh, we're going to have uh, Pastor Dean's praise and worship team to come with us. Amen. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. But God says, "You in this place," He says, "It is saturated, My God. and it is full of purpose." Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For the next move of God. Thank you, Jesus, God. thank you, Father. Get me started. Come on. Get me started, and then you know. <coughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 We just thank you, Lord. Yes. We just thank each and every one of you for attending. We thank Amen. you for pressing your way out on a Wednesday night just to come and praise the Lord. Yes. And we pray that you continue to come every night, every morning, every afternoon, because this is just the beginning. Amen. 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 It's time that you come. It's going to heighten a little more. Amen. Amen. And by the time we get to the end, we'll be where God wants us to be. Amen. 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 I feel anticipation. I feel joy. I feel, yes, I feel yes, 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 yes. So oh, yes. 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 There's a shift going on. Yes. Amen. There's a shift going on. Amen. Somebody said it's a shift. It's a shift. Uh, you know, there's a shift going on yes. in the atmosphere. Yes. So you got to shift with it or get out the way. Amen. 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 Better talk about right it. Right now, that's all God had to say. You better shift with it or he's going to move you out the way. Amen. 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 We thank God for Pastor Peter. Amen. He is such a living well. Yes. Oh, he is such a living well. He, is a, he has so much wealth within him about the word of God and what God has got for this hour and what the Lord is doing for this hour. And I just thank God for him. We sat the other night and he just ministered to us and talked and just revealed what God had for us. But he wouldn't reveal it all. And Pastor Barbara was trying to pull it out. And Pastor Peter said, not yet. Not yet. He said, in time when God said to reveal it, he will reveal it. Amen. 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 So I'm just going to um, talk a little bit uh, about his ministry. I have his bio from the ministry. You will receive this tomorrow, everyone, with your folders. Amen. And it's just the history of African Ministries International, also known as the Missions to Africa. God has a plan for African Ministries International, also known as Missions to Africa in Africa. We do not, we don't all know what is going on, but we do know that it started with God's vision given to one man. Reverend Peter Nabanda in December 1990. God doesn't take the greatest men and make them greater. He takes the unlikely. Mm, yes, he does. He takes the unlikely and shows them how to mirror God's greatness. Reverend Peter was born in Mozambique. Mm. There you go. Amen. Don't bring no shame to it. Amen. Amen. And in 1964. And he lived his young years in a war-torn country where death was an everyday event. When Peter was 15, he was delivered by God to Zimbabwe, where the Lord showed his awesome vision to, young Af to a young African boy who lost his physical vision in one eye due to illness. Peter's youth 